Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video of Prompt Engineering course, where in this video we'll be discussing a type of prompt engineering and that is known as short prompting, which are zero short prompting, one short prompting and few short prompting. So before starting this video, let me just demonstrate this lab to you guys. So we'll be using prompts to get output from chat GPT in an effective way to enhance focus and precision of our output. And also we'll be applying prompt engineering techniques to improve our output as always. So moving forward, uh, let's just see what is short prompting. So short prompting basically it has uh, three variations which entail giving chat GPT complete autonomy uh, to generate any response with zero short prompting. And you know, you can uh, place parameters and you know, you can give reference data as well, which happens in one and few short prompting. So if you're still unclear, uh, don't worry. The next example will make you guys more clear. So in zero short prompting you don't give any previous data or guidelines you know before completing requests so let's just say you are giving any prompt to chat gpt right so for zero short prompting you won't be giving any previous background details or any other information so you will straight away get into your prompt without any extra information or any extra detail but in one shot prompting you are only allowed to give only one piece of data or guideline to complete the request and similarly for few shot obviously by the name is suggest is you can add multiple pieces of data or guidelines to complete your request so yeah i hope it get clear to you guys and let's just now move forward and see what's the prompt formula for zero one and few short prompting so for zero short prompting you straight away a right prompt with no reference that's the formula for that and for one shot prompting you put one example or one reference and then straight away after that you give your prompt related to that example or reference and in few shot obviously uh, you use examples one two three or as many as you want as your reference and then you write that prompt related to that reference all right so these will be a few of the example that we'll be doing in today's lab so without further ado let's just jump right into our chat gpt all right so here i am with my chat gpt open and first of all uh, we'll see how the zero shot prompting works so i'm just gonna give it an example to write me a youtube script for my tech review channel so in this example as you guys can see like i didn't give any information or further anything like you know what exactly what is my topic for my tech review channel or what gadget am i reviewing in so yeah i didn't give any information so yeah let's just see how chat gpt will get output for this all right yeah so as you guys can see with my first example of zero shot prompting didn't give me like a youtube strip for any specific topic or any specific gadget it just provided me a template which i have to edit and you know fill it up according to my need which is quite a bit of a hustle if you ask me and uh, yeah so this is not something clear maybe topics or you can say the things he provided in this i mean i'm not in need of that so yeah this is a very you can say undirectional way of using chat gpt with just zero shot prompting so if we move forward let's just do uh, our second example which was one shot prompting so for that i'm gonna ask chat gpt now to write me a youtube script for my tech review channel related to the latest iPhone. So yeah, in this I just provided one kind of information or reference which is for the latest iPhone. So let's just see whether it will improve uh, the output for us this time or not. So let's just hit enter and see that. All right, yeah, so now you can see like as soon as I provided uh, with a little bit of information was just one reference, which is latest iPhone. It just provided me a complete, you know, first of all, you start off with the unboxing. Then you can do like a, a footage of iPhone packaging and you know now it is a little bit more precise but you know you cannot say like that's the perfect way of using chat GPT or that's a perfect way to you know master your prompt engineering techniques. So still like you know uh, as I told you guys earlier as well like the more you put effort into chat GPT the more you're gonna prompt chat GPT the more best and best kind of outputs you're gonna gain from AI. So yeah, let's just now move forward and do our last example, uh, which was few shot prompting, where we'll be providing more than one reference to chat GPT, and you know, we'll try to get the best output possible. All right, so this time I said chat GPT to write a five minute YouTube script on the latest iPhone, camera specification for my tech review channel, start with a 10 second hook, and notate a phone for each main point. So yeah, as you guys can see, I provide multiple kind of information and reference to ChatGPT now. I said you need you need to make a five minute YouTube strip that is 
a one reference then i have the second one as latest iphone camera specification then i have third one to make a 10 second hook and notate a photo for each main point so yeah we have like three to four references in this example so let's just hit enter and see like whether we'll get a perfect output for that or not all right yeah so now you can see like you know i got the perfect output from chat gpd just the way i wanted so this is all uh, for the iphone camera uh, in this example because i wanted to make a strip on the latest iphone camera specifications so first of all it says you need to uh, go for the high resolution capture then we have a stunning cityscape photo to display on screen then we have a little bit information about night mode then we have for portrait mode as well and then we have for ultra wide angle which is also very important and then we have for advanced video capabilities and you know with that now i can say like you know i did use chat gpt in a very perfect way providing as much information as required and you know to get the best output possible from chat gpt you know that's that's the way to use ai in my view you know you should prove to be more knowledgeable to ai I know you, you need to give like as many information as possible to get that perfect and the best outcome possible. So yeah, that was pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. And don't forget to watch more videos on this course. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.